Treasurer. Hey, Michael, how are you? Great to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, welcome yeah. to Parliament House and welcome to, to the Treasurer's office. It's a, it's a pretty quiet day, pretty quiet week. There's not much <laughs> going on. There's a bit going on uh, and obviously a lot of excitement about tomorrow night. Mm, so take us through, this is your first budget. What, what goes on in the Treasurer's office the day before a budget? Well, obviously working with staff on the final documents, the speech. Uh, went to the printers this morning, caught up with the Prime Minister uh, this morning as well. Uh, we'll be meeting with colleagues throughout the day. Uh, went down uh, into the Parliament just to look through the procedures uh, for tomorrow night. Uh, you don't want to mess up your lines. Is there uh, a special procedure? There is a special procedure. Treasurers, okay. and, and the, the main one being don't mess up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Easier said than done. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, that should be a lot of fun uh, mm. tomorrow night. And then it's obviously uh, media uh, commitments after that and uh, and a very busy rest of the week. So if you get the, a, a brain wave and want to think of a great line for the speech, it's too late to put it in because the speech has gone to the printers and you can't make last well, minute it, changes? It won't make to the, to the printed version, but uh, obviously tomorrow is going to be a really busy day because mm. there's the lock-up with around 500 people. Yeah, uh, held captive held against captive, their will. Held captive. Uh, so just, every just, journalist in the country. Just chopper chops and chocolate on, yeah. on, on demand. Uh, so that will be fun uh, tomorrow and then obviously uh, delivering it in the, uh, the speech in the Parliament. In all seriousness, it's hard yards and I've spoken to treasurers in the past. Uh, you do spend a lot of time in Canberra in the week yeah. leading up to the budget away from you've got two young kids and a wife as well. That must be pretty hard as well. Well actually budget night is just the culmination of a process that's gone on for months. It's the expenditure review uh, process where we sit down, Prime Minister, the Finance Minister, who does an enormous amount of work in relation to the budget, and other ministers, and uh, we look through all the, uh, the spending and revenue proposals that come forward, uh, and we make some decisions, and then uh, those decisions are finalised very close to the budget. But the last week, uh, I've been better down in, in, in Treasury's building, uh, and that's been uh, a lot of fun working with uh, the, uh, the public servants as well on the documents. There are budget traditions, budget rituals, one of which is the uh, picture opportunity we call the PICFAC between the Treasurer and the Finance Minister. Now, everybody saw the last PICFAC you did with Ken Hain, the Banking Royal Commissioner. We get a handshake or something between them? Nope. <laughs> no? Fairly awkward, you'd have to agree, so you're hoping the one with uh, Matthias Corbyn goes a bit better? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure it, it will, um, and you know, Matthias and I have worked very closely together, and there's been a lot of hands uh, and a lot of people uh, that, have put, uh, that have put a lot of effort into this budget. So it's not just the Treasurer's budget or indeed the Finance Minister or the Prime Minister's. It's really uh, the culmination of a major process through government. Very stressful time for Treasurers. We've seen how past Treasurers have dealt with stress. So on that basis, I know a good cigar store, Josh <laughs> Frydenberg in Canberra, I could, I could show you to this afternoon. I'll leave them in the ashtray for now and uh, I've got a football in the office and kick that around uh, from time to time, avoiding breaking any windows. Good skills. We're heading to surplus, we know, so what about a bit of a stimulus package for the Carlton Football Club? <laughs> football development needs to happen there, doesn't it? Well, a, a number of football clubs have already benefited from announcements, and particularly uh, AFLW, mm. uh, providing more support for the women's game, which, unfortunately, the Blues lost uh, the grand final. Blues lost. So you're not tempted to throw a bit of money at Carlton to teach them how to play football? Well, I, you know, I think they've got their own recruiting underway, um, but uh, it's been a long... Uh, long summer for us, Carlton supporters, and so far no joy in the early part of the season. Now, finally, I've, I'll have to work whenever the election's called. I've made plans. You must I've, feel bad about I, it. I, I've, and I've made having to work, I mean, seriously. Oh, yeah, having to work. And we work very hard at the ABC, <laughs> as you know. But I've made plans over the weekend. Uh, so should I, should I keep those plans? In relation to what? To elections being called. Oh, right. Well, obviously, uh, I'm not at liberty to say that's a prime ministerial decision and everyone will be watching. I'll be watching News Breakfast, certainly. <laughs> Treasurer, thank you so much. Busy day. Great.